No go, that's what the Harker Heights City Council has said after voters overwhelmingly approved Prop A back in November. That ordinance would have decriminalized small amounts of marijuana. That's right. 25 News reporter Ian Chris joins us live from Harker Heights City Hall, where Ground Game Texas held a rally today to try and put it back on the ballot. Ian? That's right. Just earlier today, protesters gathered here, letting their voices be heard about how they feel about Proposition A. Many feel that this topic should not even have should be on the ballots, should have went to the ballots, while others feel like their voices are simply not being heard. You are not. You are not 64% of the vote that was cast. You're violating the law. Because they have the it was a passionate discussion between those who were for and against Proposition A. Ground Game Texas, an organization, led the protests. They inserted their minority will over the majority who voted in a lawfully conducted election. They dismantled democracy in the city when they took that vote, and they will do it again. Due to Harker Heights home charter, voters can get ordinances put on ballots as long as it is not deemed illegal by city council. But those who voted in favor of it feel slighted after a four to one vote by council overturned what voters favored. Four people have taken my vote. You have stolen my vote. You're talking about a steal. This is what a steal is all about. Some Harker Heights residents are glad Prop A was rejected by council. I wish this had not gone to the ballot, but the city had a choice. The city had a choice to say, because uh, the city charter said all ordinances not immediately adopted shall go to the ballot. Now Ground Game Texas is looking for 350 signatures on a petition to put Prop A back on the ballot in May 2023. Oliver says they have majority of signatures needed. And then it goes back to vote, so people get to vote again for Prop A. But until that point, it puts a moratorium on their repeal. Councilman Tony Cantorino voted against accepting Prop A when asked what his decision will be if it makes it back to the ballot in May. It's on my call right now. Uh, when it comes, we, we cross that bridge when it comes. And I'd be happy to talk to you guys then, too. I mean, I no, I have no secrets. Councilman Cantorino also added the city will look to change its home charter in line with state law to avoid loopholes being taken like this in the future. Now you have until December 12th to sign that petition to get that back on the ballot in May. If for details on how to do that, visit our website. Reporting live here in Harker Heights, Ian Chris, back to you. All right, Ian.